Hello rockers, welcome to Rock Painting Workshops. Uh, today we're going to do a shamrock for St. Patrick's Day. And first off, I'm going to sketch onto the rock my shamrock. So I'm using a HB, which is a regular size graphite pencil. And I'm just sketching out a heart shape that represents one of the leaves. And I'm going to do a three leaf clover. I didn't think until I'd already finished that a four leaf clover would have been good luck. So here I'm just sketching out three separate hearts that will make up the leaf shape. You can see that's a clover. And I put the stem in first down the middle so I could see where I was going to sort of fit the hearts in. And I just keep sketching around. It doesn't matter because we erase all these lines. So you can sketch as much as you like on the rock. So I like to go over it and just sort of think if I'm happy with the shapes and where I'm going with it. And then I'm just going to thicken up that stem there onto the clover. And pretty much I'm happy with that shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a permanent line around the outside because remember this series of videos for rock painting is about coloring in rocks and we are replicating rocks uh, pictures on rocks that we would see in a coloring in book and just like we get the coloring in books for our kids and they have a solid black line and then we color that in that's what we're putting on rocks so you can see I'm just going around the edges and even though I sketched them in as a heart I'm don't actually want to take the hearts all the way down because I'm going to pop a cute little face on him with some eyes and a smile. Okay, so I've left it a minute for the paint pen to, to dry and I was using a Posca uh, extra fine liner. The size is 0.7 mm millimeters. And now that that's dry, I'm just taking a polymer eraser and I'm just erasing all the graphite pencil off my rock and depends on the rock how you go sometimes it gets a little bit smudgy before it leaves a nice clean look to the to the rock so once I've done that I can just start coloring it in and I'm just going to go with the lighter green to color in the whole shamrock I'm just going to keep colouring around. I actually go uh, over the face so it doesn't bother me if I block it because these black lines, they're not my final lines. Okay, they're just the drawing lines that allow me to colour in, colour in the shape because a lot of times it's really hard just to take the colour straight to your rock and sort of start drawing. Um, sometimes when we st first start painting the rocks and we're not quite used to what we're doing it's really nice to have all the outlines in place to let our uh, mind let our mind know okay this is where the eyes are going to go this is where the mouth's going to go even though we're co covering it up we've already registered that in our mind that um, where we're going to place that on the rock so it just gives us that space that we understand where everything's going to go on the rock. I don't put in too much of the finer details, the, the decorative part of it, but I put in the basic stuff like eyes and mouth. That's just one layer of Posca pen and I've just done a nice light layer of colour over it and I'm letting that dry at the moment. Okay, so I let it dry and I've actually added a second layer and we're about to start put a little bit of shading. So I just showed you we have some clean water, we've got a brush and I'm just putting a little bit of, um, I'm going to dip the brush in the water first, wipe off any excess water, we don't want it drippy, just a nice damp brush. And just going to blend that around with that damp brush because the damp of the brush and the damp of the paint together we'll just blend that nicely I'm not putting too much you can see how much I'm putting on and I'm just smushing that around to give it the blended look okay and I'm coming down where the joins 
were going to be but I didn't bring that definite black line down but I bring the shading down just to define between the different the separate leaves on the whole leaf does that make sense sections separate sections within the leaf and I'm just going to keep smushing that around to give it some shading this is not something that I do like neatly precisely I just like to smush some darker color around and just it just gives it a little bit of depth gives it some interest to look at and it's pretty simple to do and I really go in depth in my rock painting course about how to get this shading right and we have lots of videos on it uh, so don't hesitate to pop over and have a look at uh, the rock the rock videos the, the course that we do because there's over 50 videos in that and they just teach you every step of the way okay so I just need a little bit darker on the edges it comes lighter as you shade in but I just wanted a little bit darker towards the outer edge I bought too much of it in to be shaded so I just wanted to find that darker and I'm just softening the edges around there so it's not a quite solid finish to the color okay that'll work just give it a bit of a blend and you can see yeah you know have a look at it closely and see that it's not some precise neat step you're just smushing it around to add the color in a minute we're going to outline the rock and then you'll see how that just makes everything pop by adding that little bit of shading in at this step my black pen all right I just gathered up a couple of colors because I'm going to put some rainbows for good luck and I've got my black pen for outlining and I'm using my finger to lean the rock on the pens work a little bit better at an angle and it's really hard with the camera to do such straight up and down work when the pens just want to sort of just, they just want a little bit of an angle to work at so sometimes you'll see that I just pick the rock up rest it on my finger it's a habit I do all the time too <laughs> you do what works right and here I'm just outlining this is the final line to my rock so we're just adding that outline in now I'm coming in a little bit from the edge where the join of each section of the leaf is to create the clover I pop those little eyes in okay let's see what other colors we've got here just want the eyes in first so they can dry so I can put the little dots of the white in them but it definitely needs some rosy cheeks so uh, this one is the coral color by Posca it's my favorite color for cheeks and I always just dot that on the area and then I just dab my finger dab my finger onto it and take away some of the thick excess paint sort of gives it a little bit of a washy uh, look to it and then I can add his smile in okay that looks pretty cute okay so all I'm going to do is in the background I'm just going to put some little good luck rainbows always a pot of gold at the other end we just got to find the leprechaun I don't know how many Irish people we've got out there watching us. My grandfather was Irish. I didn't know what he was saying half the time. But, you know, I'm sure being Australian, he didn't know what I was saying half the time with my accent either. <laughs> okay, you can just see up there, just the red and the yellow, because they touched each other in that top left-hand side and they weren't dry. You can see that it bled a little bit. And that, that's really important if your two colors are going to touch each other when they're wet they're going to bleed like that one did there you can just see that bit of yellow has gone over onto the red okay let's just throw some little dots around there for extra good luck right looking for my white pen I'm just gonna add in a little bit of highlights this is just wherever you think that the light is going to hit onto your shamrock and it's going to show a reflection just do a couple of dots and dashes to reflect that light 
add the dots into the eye. Remember to put them on the same side. So they're on the left hand side of each eye. And that's it. Come and join us over on Facebook at Reef Rocks Free Workshops and show us the shamrocks that you create. Happy St. Patrick's Day.